Every time that music plays, you're one step closer to grabbing a napkin and your fork and your knife and getting ready to go. Friday feed time. Al Hebert is over at the French Press. It's uh, the second location over on Ambassador Caffrey, and they are working up and preparing to whip up some wonders. Al. Hey, guys, we are back. I am at the French Press. Justin Gerard, what are we going to do? All right, today I would like to show our viewers at home our signature dish. It's called the Cajun Benedict. I love this. And um, like I said earlier, it's a play on a classic breakfast brunch item, the Eggs Benedict, but we've done it with Cajun ingredients. Um, the dish came about in a funny way. My wife was pregnant, uh -huh. and she had a pregnancy craving and asked for all, of these, all these ingredients in one bowl to wow. have for breakfast. And at the time, I thought she was crazy. Um, but it ended up working, and it's now our best seller. We, we, wow. we introduced it slowly onto the menu to make sure people would respond well. And like I said, it's our best seller, so it's been received well. OK, good wife. So what <laughs> yeah. are the ingredients? Tell us about that. So the two main ingredients are boudin and chicken and sausage gumbo. Um, since everybody around here has their favorite boudin and their favorite recipe for gumbo, we don't need to talk about how to cook that. So just you know, source your favorite boudin, make a pot of your favorite gumbo, and we take the boudin out of the casing. This is a six ounce scoop, and that's the portion that we're going to use. So per, per portion, you just need one six ounce scoop. And then I'll show you how to assemble that. Nice. Uh, I like that. I like the idea of having a, a, a pre-measured scoop. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's important to get all the portions proper, uh, properly measured out. Um, and then we, we actually sear this on the flat top, um, smash it down like a burger patty, mm -hmm. and cook it on both sides of the flat top. The other thing we need is uh, uh, um, it's the bre French bread. This is long lays French bread. Oh, and you, that's ubiquitous around here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, like I said, we use all the good Cajun ingredients we can get our hands on. Um, about a two, two and a half inch slice, two of these, and we'll toast these. Um, eggs, which we'll poach for your poaching water, your poaching liquid. There's six cups of water. To, and three cups of white vinegar. Oh, why the white vinegar? The white vinegar causes the egg whites to coagulate and hold together, and that way you can get a properly poached egg with a soft center. The yolk will stay un, uh, undercooked. I love that. You have just made this a science show. Thank you yeah, so much, Justin, bit, yeah. for that. And so, and then, so we, do we need to go off and take care of this and then come back afterwards and put it yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. And then we're just, the last thing we're gonna do is slice some scallions. And Man, it's always important, the best, way to, the best way to cook is to always get all of your ingredients ready first. Got you. Don't try to, don't try to do, don't start cooking this and then go slice this. It's like, if you get everything ready first, like we have it here, and then go to the stove, it'll come together a lot less frustratingly. Okay, I love those logistics. Look, Justin and I are gonna go to the stove, we're gonna get this ready. Well, mostly him, but I'll be there. Uh, back to you guys in the studio.